Schönen guten Tag to War Thunder with Lutsch Dahlhagel. Today I'm flying my P-38G, my favorite boom and zoom plane right now. I know there are some several other planes that are very good at boom and zoom, like the uh, F4U or especially the P-51 or the P-47. But at this moment I really like this plane here. It's a mid-tier, a better ranking of 3.7. It has a good armament, it has a very high speed, it's pretty tough and I like to play it uh, at this time. So I hope you have fun with this video and I hope I can show you some nice gameplay here. To our right there was already the first opponent of the match I encountered. It's an I-185. Um, in my opinion it's a very good Soviet plane. It's kind of fast. It's not that agile but agile enough. But it climbs really good and has a very good armament. So that's an opponent you have to watch for, or that I have to watch for in this game here. Some fun facts about this plane. This plane actually was called by the Japanese um, two planes and one pilot, and the German called it um, Fork Tail Devil or Two Tail Devil, or as they said in German, Gabelschwanziger Teufel, and just simply means that they did not encounter a lot of planes that are that have a design like this, two engines and a pilot in the middle. Um, kind of an awkward design, but I can guarantee you that it's very good for the boom and zoom task. It's not that agile and the rudder locks up pretty fast in the dive, but it does the job nevertheless. I think I will stay up here a little bit and eventually boom and zoom down when an opponent is near enough. Okay, there we have the first customer for today. I think it was switched to the other I-185, but it's kind of a bad angle, so I will climb back up, zoom climb back up, and do my next pass right now. I think we may have a good shot here at him. He's passing right below me. And yeah, I think it will be a good shot here. Yeah, very good. Nice kill, and here you can see what's another benefit of this plane. It has a very high caliber machine gun, the 50 cal, and of course the 20 millimeter machine gun on machine cannon. And if you fire the four machine guns and the cannon at once, they will do a lot of damage. And if you aim for a part that is very, um, very weak, like a wing, they all hit on the same spot because the guns are all in the nose, you have no gun convergence, so it's like flying a BF-109 on steroids, because the armament is so much better here, and if you hit a spot that is weak, it will instantly rip apart, and you will have the kill. I think it's safe enough to go down a little bit, I did not encounter a lot of enemies at the top, and we only have, I guess it was four, four enemy planes left. And I think I will go for this guy down there, the I-16. Yeah, I can't see anyone up here more anymore. So we have a very high energy advantage over the um, enemy. And that's what I'm using here. I'll pick up some nice speed. Have a look. And then zoom climb back up to regain my energy advantage or my energy potential. And there he goes, flip over, raise the flaps. Uh, it kind of increases the drag, but it also increases the lift. And when you're doing a loop, or uh, after a zoom climb a loop, I will always um, use the flaps to flip even some more and regain the controls earlier without flaps. Oh, then without flaps. Okay, here you can see what you should not do. You, if I would have gone after this guy, after he turned, I would have lost some really high energy and that's when you might get me, because these tiny little knobs of planes won't lose so much energy in a turn. So I zoom climb back up and hopefully find a next opponent who is coming. Oh. I did not see that coming. Okay, there's a guy pretty high up. 
and I bet he's coming after me because he seems to be... Yeah, he's coming definitely after me. He seems to be the squad mate of the other I-16. And I need to pick up some really high speed here. And Oh, oh he's already coming after me. I can hear him firing. I will not encounter this guy. I just need to run away. And this plane is very good at running away. I okay, he set me on fire. Hopefully the fire goes out before I burn down. Okay, perfect. The fire is out. I'm all red. But as you can see, this plane is tough too. Despite the fact that it has two engines, so if you kill one engine, the plane can still fly. Not that good. And you have to fly on an, I would say, equal altitude. You don't have to, or you can't even climb anymore. But it still flies. And as you can see here, it's very hard to kill. Even though I burned and he hit my, my plane for with several good 20mm shots. Okay, maybe I have him here. And perfect. That was the other clan mate or uh, squad mate. And that oh, was close. He did a big mistake. What you never should do against the P38 is um, doing a head on. As I mentioned before, the firepower is very high, especially because um, the guns or the cannons are all mounted in the nose and they are all hitting the same spot. So if you get one strafing run with this machine into an, an enemy plane, it will be wrecked. Okay, what should I do? I still outrun this guy, but my fuel is leaking. I think I will have one or two passes on this guy and hopefully he does a head-on. Oh yeah, my plane is badly damaged. But not as bad that I could not fight anymore. So I think I will do another pass on this guy and if that doesn't kill him, I will go from my base. Oh yeah, he's coming, but he's doing evasive maneuvers. Oh, I need some more. Oh, come on! Oh, oh. Just another more lead, but the plane did not allow me to do it, because the controls were so bad to damage. I really wanted to do a little bit more lead, and I think it would have done the job. This guy would have been dead by now, but I don't think he will get away. No, I think I can, well, definitely I can catch up and maybe I can get this guy. And my fuel stopped leaking, so I have enough fuel for the next 11 minutes. And my machine guns and cannons. Okay, he's turning. Oh, he's good. He knows what to do. This plane road's not that good. And especially cannot put this guy here. So is he staying in the plane? Come on, get out. Um, this plane cannot react as good as, for example, a Falcon Wolf, a 190. It cannot roll and change directions that quick. And now this guy is on my six. And I think I will, I will go for my base and repair. Hopefully he's coming after me. And my AA does the rest. But I'm outrunning him even with a badly damaged plane. So I don't think he will follow me. My engine on the right turns red. I hope I can make it back to base. Okay, I made it back to base with a badly damaged engine on the right and nearly crashed. And look above me, there is an enemy Yak-3 that is or was maybe shadowing me the whole time. Yeah, he's pretty up high. And I will use my two very powerful engines to pick up some speed here down on low altitude. And maybe he did not realize that I'm here already. So I have a chance to get away, separate myself and climb back up to use the full potential of this plane. And the full potential of this plane is up high at high altitude. High altitude boom and zoom or boom and run fighting. So boom and zoom is not always the best choice. There's another tactic called boom and run. For example, you could use this with the early um, American jets. 
you just um, strafe an enemy and then climb back up because they're really bad climbers, just run away. <laughs> 